in their eternal quest to rid the world of America, Israel, and Jews, the Houthis have uh, a, a, another step forward has been taken by these, these brave freedom fighters. U.S. envoy says a diplomatic solution for Yemen will have to be found. Well, like I said before, uh, my support for Operation Prosperity Guardian hinged conditionally on the assumption that they would be able to actually do anything. They can't, so there you go. The U.S. designation of the Houthis as a terrorist group puts additional pressure on the group that may discourage attacks on ships in the Red Sea, but ultimately a diplomatic solution will have to be found in Yemen. No, it doesn't. The U.S. designation of the Houthis as a terrorist group isn't putting, quote, additional pressure on them. If anything, it's, um, it's pushing the Saudis against us. Isn't this keeping them from making their deal? The Houthis designation as a terrorist group is, uh, is, is, is holding up Saudi Arabia's ability to, um, to seal the deal with regards to their, uh, their, uh, diplomatic engagement. We only recently did this at the beginning of the year. Look at how happy they are to be designated terrorists. It does actually strain what diplomacy the U.S. can legally do with them, which is why they were taken off the list before the Saudi ceasefire deal. Yeah, 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 but that fucks us now. Clearly, they're capable of continuing to operate, you know? You know Cuba is still on this list? Still on this list. The U.S. previously designated the Houthis as a foreign terrorist organization under former President Donald Trump's administration, despite strong objections from human rights and humanitarian aid groups. Uh, in February 2021... Uh, Abe Lincoln delisted the Houthis as a foreign terrorist organization and as specially designated global terrorists as the administration of U.S. President Joe Biden sought to make it easier to get humanitarian aid to Yemen, among other things. Envoy Tim Lenderking huh, said the uh, purpose of the strikes was to destroy... In a good world, this man would be like a banker, okay? Clearly, the nominative determinism has failed us here said the purpose of the strikes was to destroy the Houthis' ability to attack ships, which uh, it hasn't. The Houthi attacks are undermining progress in the peace process, uh, progress in the peace process in the broader Yemeni conflict, Lender King said after holding meetings in Saudi Arabia and Oman. So the fact that he's saying this after holding meetings in Saudi Arabia and Oman tells me that the Saudis also really want us to drop this because uh, it is uh, not making their life easier. We favor a diplomatic solution. We know there is no military solution. Ooh, is there any more? That's a really short article. Yeah, okay, Comrade Robin Hood, but it's not about whether the amount of attacks go down. It's whether any attacks happen at all, you know? Biden's administration playing hardball? Well, not really. Is this good or bad? Um, it's good in the sense that it is an imposition to global American hegemony, which is good. Uh, I... You know, again, my support for Operation Prosperity Guardian hinged on it being effective. It has not been effective. You know, uh, traffic through the Red Sea is still quite down. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, Houthis win. There we go. Maybe we'll actually have to do something about Israel. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they really are uh, the Straw Hat crew. Why are the Dems so bad at foreign policy? Well, in fairness, they're not doing anything here that's worse than what the Trump administration would have done. I don't see any other articles on this that have come out recently. Maybe just a few? Not many of them, though. I guess we'll see what direction America goes in. Why would the Houthis stop uh, even if Israel was reined in? Clout. Clout. The Houthis have been taking advantage of this. The Houthis have been loving the past few months because we've been ineffective in actually, you know, meaningfully stopping them. Uh, two big, you know, dubs for them. On one side of things, uh, their deal with Saudi Arabia is getting uh, held up, which is, you know, making Saudi Arabia desperate. And on the other hand, they're getting to sort of like posture as the heroes of the Middle East by heroically protesting the genocide in Gaza. They love their clout. Very clout oriented. They needed this to get more domestic support. Their core supporters really fucking hated the Saudi ceasefire deal. Yeah, even though it's in their best interest. Of course, a lot of them are hardliners who don't want peace, which makes sense, which might force the Saudis to rein in the Houthis. The Saudis have been completely ineffective in reigning in the Houthis. I don't think so. Sucks for militant groups to get peace, nothing to do. Well, past a point, the Houthis are probably going to try to conquer all of Yemen, which they um maybe should do, probably. You know... It's it's dumb for a country to be broken up like that, with the Houthis obviously controlling the country, but having a bunch of, like, separate, you know, such and such. It would probably be for the best, stability-wise, for it to just be a country ruled by the Houthis, you know, like the Taliban rules Afghanistan. Ideally, though, they wouldn't fight for it. What's the uh, more socialist-leaning group in South Yemen? The one that's, like, cool? I would want them, yeah, a peace deal, a way to, like, you know, integrate the southern movement. 
Is that their name? It's just the Southern Movement? Okay. It's not for the good of Yemeni regional stability for them to be fighting over who really controls the state. It's good for everything to be controlled by, you know, one official government, I think. Nothing here is listed, the Southern Movement. Actually, Vosh, not really. Yemen isn't a real nation and was divided for most of its history into North and South. Well, okay, for the borders to stabilize, then. How about that? Look, the Houthis control the important part, okay? It's really just a matter of uh, settling out the differences. And it's not really a North-South divide. It's more of a, like, North-West, you know, kind of. Well, as long as it settles out. Why don't merchant ships just go through really, really fast? I wonder if they've tried that. Wiki has the real map. The real map. You've linked me to something that doesn't have a map. But I'm guessing I click here. Okay, here. Republic of Yemen, territories controlled by pro-PLC Southern Transitional Council. Is that what we're looking at? The yellow? The lighter yellow, not the dark yellow? Secessionist organization. Yes, yellow. The lighter yellow. Down here with Aiden. The Southern Transitional Council is the one. Okay, well. I, I just want regional stability. Stability is almost always good for the world. Uh, very rarely. Secession where? Not it would. I just wish everyone would uh, chill with the wars already. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Average, Republic average Republican running a monkey torture ring. Excuse me? Ringleader of Global Monkey Torture Network. The Torture King is charged. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know the world had global monkey torturing networks. That wasn't, that wasn't knowledge that I possessed. Michael McCartney, who went by the alias Torture King, charged with conspiracy to create and distribute animal crushing videos. All right. I don't know where I'm remembering this from. I remember reading some piece of media where a, a, a character, a bad character, you know, had a thing for stepping on mice with high heels. I don't, does anyone remember what this is from? Why do I have some like ancestral memory of, of this? It was, it was like a villain in a thing and it was like some, I don't know. It was fiction. That is a fetish? Well, yeah, everything's a, a fetish. Isn't that a fetish thing? Y yes, yes, everything is a, a fetish. I mean, but like, no, it was a piece of fiction. At least I think. I remember seeing those videos on 4chan, it was real. Was Are we talking about real? I thought I remembered this from a book. Okay, I don't know, I don't know. Former motorcycle gang member, previously spent time in prison. I know this wouldn't exactly be like journalistically responsibility, uh, journalistically responsible, but I feel like anytime a bad person gets a news article and they're a conservative, they should just add that everywhere, you know? Trump supporter, Mr. McCartney, former motorcycle gang member who supports Trump and previously spent time at, I just, you know, just a little bias of mine, ran several chat groups for monkey torture enthusiasts from around the world on the encrypted messaging app, Telegram. Man, Telegram really is the, um, I feel like Telegram is like 8chan. Like the reason why you don't hear about the wa the wacky shit on 8chan or 4chan or whatever is because every fucking sicko who likes CP and fucking gore or whatever, they're all on Telegram. Yeah, 16chan. The groups were used to share ideas for custom-made torture videos, such as setting live monkeys on fire, injuring them with tools, and even putting one in a blender. Mr. McCartney confessed to his role in the torture network, describing himself as the king of this demented world. I was the man, he said. You want to see monkeys get messed up? I could bring it to you. Okay. Remember that if you're not a vegan, you're exactly as bad as this guy.